Hi everyone, Cedar Lee here. I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the options you can get for fine art prints. This video is mostly for anyone shopping my website for some art to hang on your walls, but this will also be interesting for artists who want to sell prints of their own work, or for anyone who's curious about art prints in general. There's a lot of info to be found out there about buying and selling art prints. I'm just using my own experience as an example, so I'll show you some of the different options I personally offer for my art prints at artbycedar.com. I currently offer three types of prints. Prints on stretched canvas, gicle prints, which are printed on paper, and prints on metal. So I'll quickly cover all three. When you buy a print from my website, it'll come packaged very nicely. If you're giving it as a gift, you can even have it shipped directly to the recipient and it will look nice when they're opening it. If you order a canvas print, it comes inside a protective sleeve of plastic and it will come with hanging hardware already attached to the back so it's ready to hang on the wall. Depending on the size of your print, you might have a hanging wire on the back or if it's a smaller sized print, you might have one of these little sawtooth hangers. This is a stretched canvas with a satin semi-gloss surface finish. This exhibition quality canvas has an acid-free, lignin-free, heavyweight cotton poly blend. The default on my website is for the edges of your canvas to be white. However, you can also get the edges in black, or you can get the image wrapped around the edges. This option only adds a small cost increase. Besides the option for different colors on the edges or having the image wrapped around, you can also choose the thickness of the edges or how far the print will stand out from the surface of the wall. You can choose edges that are 5 eighths of an inch deep, 1 inch deep, or 1.5 inches deep. Generally, I will choose for you based on what is appropriate for the size of the print, with larger prints having deeper edges, but if you have a preference on this, please let me know. As you can see, the print quality is really nice, and the colors are rich on my canvas prints. One cool thing to notice is that you can see the texture of the brush strokes in some of my paintings show up in the canvas print, but when you look closely, it's actually flat. And when you look very closely, you can see the weave of the canvas. An advantage of choosing a stretched canvas print is that from across the room, it looks just like a real painting, and only when you look at the details up close can you tell that it's a print. And while getting your canvas print framed is always an option if you want to, it is ready to hang and it does not need a frame to look good, especially with those nicely finished edges. If you want to print on canvas to keep your costs down rather than purchasing an original painting, but you want to get some of the feeling of an original painting, one option is to have me hand embellish your print for you. This is where I go over the surface of the painting and with a light touch, I'll add just a few details throughout, making your print more unique and interesting. Then you'll end up with some real brush strokes on there to enjoy when you're looking closely at the details of your print. My pricing for hand embellishment depends on the size of the print, so ask about that option if you're interested. Now to show you my G clay prints, which are printed on paper. If you order a G clay print from me, it'll come to you sandwiched between two protective sheets of cardboard. Or if it's a very large print, it may come rolled in a tube. The print shop I'm currently working with uses a really nice paper for these prints. It's an archival acid-free paper designed for fine art prints. It's very nice and thick. Semi-gloss paper is the default, but I can also get these printed on paper with a matte finish on your request. You can get these printed full bleed, which means that the art image goes all the way to the edges of the paper, or you can get them with a small white border around the edges. These are all suitable for matting and framing. Please note that when you buy a G clay print from me, framing is not included. You will be getting just the print on paper. If you'd like your G clay prints to come already framed, you can contact me to discuss framing options and get a price quote. I'm also happy to advise on frame selection for your prints. I've made sure that my prints come in standard sizes that will fit into affordable off-the-shelf frames and mats. So you can find the correct size frame at a store like Michael's. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can always go find a frame that you like and buy the frame first, then contact me to get a gicle print that will fit within that exact frame. If the image you want is a different aspect ratio than the frame you want to use, one option is to get a white border around the image so that the piece of paper you get will be the size of your frame and the image will fit within that white border. You can also have me crop an image to fit into a specific aspect ratio. You don't necessarily need to get a print of the entire painting. 
So as you can see, there are many flexible options here and I'm always available to help you make those decisions. Giclée prints are nice because they're the most affordable option. However, when you consider that you also need to buy a frame for them, they may end up being around the same cost as a print on stretched canvas, depending on the cost of your frame. These make a nice gift for someone who might be particular about choosing their own frames for their art. Now to show you my prints on metal. These ones are so cool. I don't have one in the packaging to show you, but just like the paper and canvas prints, it will be shipped to you packed very nicely between sheets of cardboard. This option is the most sleek and modern. This is a quality art print on a sheet of aluminum. The metal printing process gives more depth, sharper contrast, and deeper color saturation than traditional photo printing. The surface has a mirror-like reflective finish. Like all my prints, hanging hardware will be included on the back. These ones are intended to float out away from the wall a little bit. The metal prints are the most expensive option, but it may be worth the cost to achieve this amazing look. A note for you fellow artists wondering where I get my prints made. Many artists own their own printing equipment and make their own art prints. For myself, I've found that I prefer to work with the experts in professional print shops to get my art prints made and spend my own time creating more paintings. I've worked with several different printers over the years, and I'm always happy to share resources. Currently, for my Giclée prints and my canvas prints, I'm working mostly with another local small business here in Portland called Pearl Printing. Brian at Pearl Printing does impeccable work. The prints always come out beautiful. Like me, he is a one-person business, so the turnaround time for orders can take longer than if you're ordering from a larger company. I found that the exceptional quality is worth the wait. For my metal prints, I'm currently working with metalprints.com and they have never failed to deliver absolutely perfect metal prints every time. If you only want to sell prints on paper, especially small sized prints, acquiring your own equipment to make your own prints may be a great option for you. And if you choose to outsource getting your prints made, there are many, many options of different print shops to choose from, both online as well as print shops in cities that may be local to you. So if you're an artist looking to get your prints made, I encourage you to shop around, try different options and figure out what works best for you. The most important thing when getting your prints made is to make sure you have high-res images of your artwork. A few last notes for anyone shopping the prints on my website. Note that while I only have a certain selection of images available in my shop right now, I'm working on adding more all the time. I've completed more than 600 paintings that I have images for. For my older work from the past, the images I have are not as high resolution as the images for my more recent paintings created in the past few years. So, for a lot of my older work, you'll be limited to smaller sized prints. For my most recent work created in the past year, I have very sharp images so you can go very large without losing any print quality. So, if there's one of my paintings that you want a print of that isn't available yet in the shop at artbycedar.com slash prints, please do send me an email and I'll see what I can do for you. For all my prints, regardless of which options you choose, there are many opportunities to play around with the scale to customize your prints to get exactly the sizes you need for your space. Please note that I'm in the US, so I usually speak about the sizes in inches. If you need to know the size in centimeters, you may have to use a calculator. You can get a print that is either smaller or larger than the original painting. For example, this original painting called Autumn Walk at Sunset is 20 by 10 inches. That's about 51 by 25 centimeters. And this canvas print of the same painting is larger, 30 by 15 inches or about 76 by 38 centimeters. For this painting, which is called Sun Through Fog, the original is gigantic at 36 by 60 inches or about 91 by 152 centimeters. And this print of the same painting is sized smaller at 21 by 35 inches, which is around 53 by 89 centimeters. Note that I offer only a few specific sizes for prints on my website, but you can always request a custom size to fit a particular spot on your wall. I do custom orders all the time and it is not a problem. For prints on paper and canvas, I can go up to 55 inches in the smaller dimension or 139 centimeters with no upper limit for the larger dimension. I'm a little more limited to specific sizes with the metal prints, but you can go pretty large scale with those as well. 
So don't hesitate to reach out to me if you need a custom order. Now that I've talked about all my prints, I'll show you what my original paintings look like. Obviously, the original painting is always priced higher than the prints because it's a completely handmade and one-of-a-kind artwork. There's only one of them in the world. It's very special and it's the kind of thing that can be passed down through a family. Besides that, with an original, there are a lot of interesting details. My paintings often have a thick texture and you can look closely and see the different art techniques and tools that I used with my hand when creating the art. You can see where I used a palette knife and where I used a large brush or a small brush. This is impossible to show in video because the originals are always so much better in person. If you really love the image and cost is not as much of a factor in your decision, you should go for the original if it's available. I try to get art reproductions made that are as high quality and beautiful as possible, but a print will still never compare to the original piece of art. Original paintings have what I call a certain wow factor. When people come to my studio and see the original paintings in person, you can see that reaction. And buyers of my originals often tell me that when they have my art up on the wall, that visitors to their homes really notice and comment on the artwork. An original painting is always going to spark a discussion and will be a really special thing for you to own. That said, owning original art is not important to everyone, and there are many people who simply love the beautiful image and want it up on their wall. And with prints, you can have that image for a much lower cost. It comes up quite often that someone would have preferred to own the original painting, but the original has already been sold. In those cases, the person can get a print of the image they love and still get to enjoy seeing that painting every day without owning the original. You don't need to have the original piece to get to enjoy the artwork every day. So prints will be an appealing option to many people. And in some cases where you need a really specific size that is different from the size of the original, or if you really like the look of some of these print options, like the glossy finish of the metal or the look of the gicle print inside of a nice frame, getting a print may even be preferable to you from an aesthetic standpoint. My prints can often be grouped together in a display of two or three, or you can mix and match different paintings that you like, and then frame them in matching frames for visual continuity. Art prints give you lots of options, and if you're not sure what to do with a particular wall or room, I can always help you think through the options and help you get just the perfect art for your needs. The takeaway is that there's something for everybody. I hope all this information has been helpful, and now when you're browsing on my website, you can better picture what you're looking at there. And thanks to my fellow artists for watching as well. Please reach out anytime if you have questions for me.